All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, boy, this thing don't went crazy now, man. Uh, salute to all of y'all that's in here, man. Uh, appreciate everybody that's in the building. Um, we're going to talk about this situation right now with Larsa uh, Pippen and um, Marcus Jordan as they have uh, split up for good uh, as Marcus Jordan. You know, he basically just, you know, dumped her. Uh, you know, listen, man. Uh, my, my thoughts are, and I truly believe this now, is that Marcus Jordan just used a woman. I think he just wanted to fulfill uh, some type of fantasy he had. And I believe it was a hard of war with Scottie Pippen. And I believe, uh, you know, um, that that is what happened because now she's going off. So uh, if you guys didn't hear, they broke up for good. And now Larsa Pippen is going off on, um, you know, uh, hold on one second, y'all. Yeah, so now she's going off on. Marcus Jordan saying that he's lazy and she's uh, assuming she's like uh, insinuating that he's lazy saying that, you know, he don't have motivation to do this, do that. And all this, what do you mean? All this other time, all this time you acting like y'all was cool. See, the bottom line was that Marcus Jordan, in my opinion, never wanted to, uh, you know, get married to her. I think Marcus Jordan was stringing her along, getting her hopes up. And he, he was never going to take it all the way with her. He was never going to bring her into the family. Uh, he was never going to do all this, I believe. Uh, you know, um, that I, I truly believe that he was just playing her uh, like all the other men did until he got finished doing whatever he was going to do. I don't think he ever had any intentions on marrying that woman. I think that he played all of us. It made it seem as if he was that interested in her in order to hurt her feelings. I don't think Marcus Jordan was ever going to do that to his father at this point. I think that we all probably misread him and thought that did, that he was really, like, you know, whipped out because he could have had Paul's, because he could have had all these other women. But I, I think he did it because of the fact that, you know, I think that he wanted to, you know, humiliate her. And I think that now she's upset. And so now she's going to tear him down, in my opinion. Uh, now, she said, and shout out to Black Sports Online, she was like saying, um, you know, just all kind of things about him not being mature enough, not being, not having, being on the same page as her, having the same motivation as her. These were all the things that they were saying she, she was saying amidst them finally breaking up again and not being on speaking terms now. And, and, and like I said, man, like, I don't think at this point, the way I see it, I don't think Marcus Jordan ever was going to do it. I think that, that was, this probably was a setup to humiliate Scottie Pippen uh, to get with his, his uh, you know, saying his baby moms and his ex-wife. And I think that this was something that Marcus Jordan may have did to completely humiliate, you know, um, Larsa Pippen. Do I think Mike has something to do with it, too? Yeah, he probably did. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't put it past him. I don't know. I can't say he did. I can't say he did it, but I wouldn't put it past him. You know what I'm saying? I won't say, hey, definitely Mike did this. That would be irresponsible. But, you know, I, I just think that, you know, it was a limit. That it was a line that was never going to be crossed. And I think the line that was never going to be crossed was marriage. And I think Larson Pippen figured that out once that it came down to the real marriage plans. 
It never happened. You know what I'm saying? The talk happened. The baby talk happened. You really think that Michael Jordan and, and, and Marcus Jordan was going to let this woman come in and infiltrate the family and be a Pippin and a Jordan and ruin NBA history like that? Ruin a whole entire uh, family name like that? They wasn't finna do that with this woman. This woman thought she had a free meal ticket and she got played. Just like she did against all them other with all those other people. The same way she got played with uh, you know, the dude that's playing for the Milwaukee Bucks right now, the guard. You know what I'm saying? She got played with him. The same way she got played with the other guard she was messing with with the from the Toronto Raptors. You know? Like Larsa Pippen has to understand, bro, you 50 something years old. Ain't no man fit to take go settle down with you. None. There ain't nothing you can do that they're gonna settle down with you, baby. You, they just all they gonna do is just tell you whatever they want. You, you know what I'm saying? It's like Fifty said in a song before. I tell them oh, whatever they want here. You understand what I'm saying? And he ain't finna do that. He's not finna like wife you up. The only thing he finna get you is one thing. He finna get you that and bubble gum. That's it. So I mean, I don't know why she upset now. You know what I'm saying? You got a time in the limelight. You got a time to get your cake up. Off your relationship with Marcus, it's done. So now you want to get upset with the dude sitting up here talking about some he, uh, you know, alluding to him being lazy, not having the same work ethic, and not having the same drive as you and belief as you. What do you mean? What type of drive? What, type, what, what drive do you have? What drive do you have? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, to the person Stormy Weather who said, "No, stop that stupid stuff. His nose is wide open. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. You can say that." You don't know that for sure. I'm I, I'm liable to think that they played this woman out. I don't know. I, I, at this point, I don't think he ever was going to marry her. I don't think he ever was going to marry her. I don't think. I think that uh, Marcus Jordan did something out of the art of war. That's what I think. And I think at the end of the day, he's always going to be more loyal to his father than he is to any other uh, woman out the street. Ain't going to be no question about it. There was no way in the world he was going to get down the altar with that woman. There's no way. And if you think so, if you think there's a way that Michael Jeffrey Jordan's son was going to walk down the aisle with this woman, you don't lost your mind. That was never going to happen. Never. I don't care what it was. That never was going to happen if he was going to walk down the aisle with her. That was never fitting to be his wife. Not. Ain't no young NBA cat walking around here like Malik Beasley Fitting to marry this 50-year-old woman, man. Uh, God dang gone. Future made a song about the woman in Gucci flip-flops, man. Gucci flip-flops, man. That's all we got to talk about. Future made a song about her and Gucci flip-flops. What else we talking about? What else we talking about? Gucci flip-flops, y'all. Gucci flip-flops. So I don't want to hear no more excuses from none of you guys. I mean, once that song came out, man, and man, ain't nobody taking that John serious at all. Ain't nobody taking that serious before then, bro. You're hanging around the Kardashians. Bro, don't nobody, bro, listen. The, even when you look at Kim Kardashian, ain't nobody finna lock her down forever. You think that's finna be a stable, long-lasting relationship? Come on, man. Y'all make, make it make sense, bro. Make this stuff make sense to us in our mind, bro. Ain't no, these type women, ain't nobody finna have a long lasting relationship with you. None of them. You, you're, it's only a certain amount of time. And you're out of there, bro. Or they're out of there. Simple as that. If that ain't never gonna be something that lasts forever. It's not. It's not. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to tell y'all this, like, none of this stuff is lasting forever. Uh, Hitman, what are you talking about? You said Cap Kanye cut Kim off, Kim quickly. Cuff Kim quickly. No, you're not hearing me. You're not listening to what I'm saying to you, Hitman. I'm, I'm saying that regardless of what it is, none of the relationship with these 304 is going to last. None of them. That's what. I'm, that's my point to you, bro. It ain't no happily ever after, bro. What are you talking about? Underrated, what's good, homie? Salute. Marco, what's good, homie? Salute. There ain't no happily ever after. Jason and Kid, I see you in the building, dog. Salute to you, brother. There ain't no happily ever after on this. So what are we doing, bro? What are we talking about? There ain't none. Tell me one that's happy that's a happily ever after with one of those 304s that's 50 years old. There ain't. There ain't never gonna be one. There ain't never gonna be one. 
Once you got to the point, this woman got four kids, five kids, man, it's done, bro. It's done. They out of here, bro. Ain't nobody finna, bro, ain't nobody worth any kind of sense. You might find a bum off the street, but she gonna have to be carrying the load, and then she gonna get tired of that. So it ain't nobody out here. Let me repeat myself again. It ain't nobody worth the salt. Let me let me tell y'all something. The, the owner of the, of the Los Angeles Lakers, Jeannie Buss, is married now. Y'all think that marriage gonna last? Jeannie Buss will be divorced in three years. She can't even stay with Phil Jackson. And Phil was cool. Phil was smooth. You know what I'm saying? Phil was a smooth, cool dude. She couldn't even keep Phil. Make it make sense. She couldn't even stay around Phil. She can be his friend, could not even stay in a relationship with the man. So I'm just saying, bro, make y'all got to keep it 100, bro. Marcus Jordan was not going to ever marry this woman, man. This woman is a straight, she going to get treated like a straight 304. You understand? And I'm just being honest with y'all. You can't talk like this, bro. And I have people on my podcast show. Hey, you want to hate on my podcast show? People still going to come support me. No matter what you say, bro. Doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter what you say. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, hey, hey, these people on YouTube come hate for no reason, bro. Hey, y'all mad? You mad, uh, You mad? I get you some. You know what I'm saying? I, I help you clean that up. Spill on aisle three. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you mad, dog. I know you 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 mad. You see the podcast numbers. Let me tell y'all something. They see everybody subscribing to the podcast show. They mad as on know what. You're like, man, Tiki gonna have over 3,000 podcast subscribers probably in the next two or three weeks. Probably the next two weeks, Tiki gonna have like 3,000 podcast subscribers. And they mad. And if y'all want to subscribe to the podcast, just click the link that's pinned at the top of the comment section. It says subscribe to the podcast here. These, these dudes mad for real. What you mad about? You should be somewhere happy that I'm not even going to talk about your king on this video. So go hide under somebody else's channel and follow somebody else and be happy that I'm not in this video talking about your king. Because you said that's all I talk about, right? Is your king, right? That's, that's really why you came in here, right? You was upset that I was talking about your king, right? Yeah. But anyways, though, like I said before, man, who won't? Who is going to marry that, man? I mean, bro, just be honest, man. You know what I'm saying? Marcus Jordan had a little fantasy. You know what I mean? He made it reality, and then he got up out of there. Simple as that. He had a fantasy. He made it reality. He, Like I said, sometimes you got to lie to him. Like, for real talk. i am be honest with you, man. Sometimes you got a lot of them Jones, man. Sometimes you got to tell them whatever they want here. You know what I mean? Because sometimes, like, if you are 304 and you tired of getting, like, treated a certain way, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you're going to make it hard for dudes. Like, And the dude be like, man, why are you making it hard for me? It wasn't hard for nobody else. I'm tired of that, Pookie. I'm tired of it. Okay, baby, I'm going to marry you. I love you, baby. Are you going to marry me? Yeah, 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 I'm going to marry you. Oh, you really care about me? See, Scotty, he really wasn't like, you know, Pookie. Come here, Pookie. Give me a hug. All this other stuff, man. Man, over here blowing smoke up the woman's, uh, what you call it, all this stuff, man. Come on, man. You think he was gonna marry that woman, man? The way he was acting, man. Come on, bro. I was. I, I would have been surprised if he would have crossed that 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 uh that that wedding line and married her, bro. That those that would have been grounds of complete, like, like you just being stricken from the family forever. Like you can't even be in a family no more if you marry her. That's just how I felt about it. Like real talk, man. Like anybody, any anybody that that would marry a woman like this. At that point, man, it's just like, bro, come on, man. You you get you get to have like a mistake, but like you can't be like tw ten or five mistakes, six mistakes. Like, nah, come on, bro. She running around here chasing ball players. So who y'all think she gonna get with next? She gonna be with another ball player athlete next two 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 month? Talking about she love him. She gonna get married. This is how this is how it happens. This is how it works, bro. This is how it works, bro. So I don't I don't really respect that, man. Now she out here talking out on Marcus Jordan. Now, now Marcus Jordan lazy, right? He wasn't lazy when you was finna marry that that two hundred. Uh, uh, excuse me. He wasn't he wasn't lazy when you was getting ready to marry that. What? How much Michael Jordan worth? Three, four billion dollar in, in, uh, in uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Family, goddamn on tree. You wasn't you wasn't mad about that, was you? 
You wasn't saying nothing lazy talk then. Now, all of a sudden, that y'all ain't on speaking terms. Now he lazy, man. Come on, man. Stop playing with her, man. You know what I mean? Now, what you talking about, Tony? Tony says that in the vulnerable ball players would get with her too, all busted. Nah, the, the vulnerable ball players ain't gonna do nothing but just use it. They're gonna do like do what they kept doing. They do what she been doing. She gonna get the message. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up. He ain't dodged no bullet. He just wasn't gonna do it. Like, you know, Marcus ain't that dumb, man. He ain't that dumb, bro. He come on to Jordan, bro. It's not finna happen, man. Michael Jordan got too much money, too much influence for Marcus Jordan to do something like that. Take it all the way there. Now all they're gonna do is use this and be able to clown Scotty even more going forward. I mean, let's just be honest with y'all. You know, this is a, you know what I'm saying? Scotty ain't never gonna be able to get over this. You know what I mean? That this and, and real talk, Scotty should be upset with this woman for embarrassing him like that. Cause that's still the mother of your kids, man. Like you don't you don't carry yourself like that. Like when you carry yourself like that, bro, that's that's that you deserve every bad thing that happened to you. Like when you go eat like like outright try to like like destroy and disrespect a man by dating everybody at his like imagine this y'all imagine if you and your wife you know what i'm saying was to get together y'all had a falling out and then she went and tried to date everybody that worked with you like bro what type of time is you on everybody that worked in your industry so if you at work let's just say you had the construction site you and her got a falling out and then she goes and tries to date every construction worker out there in your same construction industry. What type of time is that, bro? Like, and you want people to respect you? Somebody's supposed to be looking up to you like you're some type of role model, you're some type of good person. Like, you did that, your son is in the league, and you did that. Your son playing for the Memphis Grizzlies. I want y'all to think about this. Scotty is at the games. Larsa Pippen is out here in, 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 in them streets. Think about this. Scotty is at the games watching his son. I just seen Scotty out there the other day. Smiling when his son got a dunk, going baseline for the Memphis Grizzlies. This woman is what? Shout out to uh, Brandon Morgan, who just got a, became a new follower on the podcast. Y'all make sure y'all y'all uh, subscribe to the podcast show. Link is pinned at the top. They hey they mad. We about to get to three thousand subscribers, y'all. They mad on the podcast. I told y'all I got too many people that's really supporting me. I don't. It's like I used to think about that, y'all. I used to like, man, all these people out here hating and stuff. Man, I got so many people that be supporting me. I don't even need to worry about the haters, all the people that support what I got going on. Why I'm worried about a hater? You know what I'm saying? Shoe fly, don't bother me. Point blank period. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Simple as that. You know what I mean? And so, uh, like I said, though, back to this thing with Larsa Pippen, though, man. Like, when you're 50 years old, you got to be thirst trapping pictures, like squatting and stuff, doing all these crazy shit, doing the little Kim pictures and stuff like that, like squatting and all this other stuff, doing it. Man, come on, bro. What type of time is that? What type of time is that, bro? Like, in, in real talk, in, in 10 years, she's going to be a senior citizen. You, you Marcus Jordan, you in your prime, bro. What was Marcus Jordan, like 34, 35 years old? You running, man, you, bro, you finna get with a senior citizen, bro? Like, make it make sense, bro. I finna do that, man. You know what I'm saying? Keith Braswell, salute to you, brother. He said, I'm a subscriber to your podcast, and I enjoy your content. Speak to you. Salute to you, my brother. I advise everybody to subscribe to the podcast. Stand up against these haters. They all mad at me because I won't bow down before they king. That's what this is all about. Shout out to Renato G with a donation. Salute to you, brother. He said, keep doing your thing. Take it no doubt, homie. Salute. I appreciate that, man. Much love to you, bro. They mad at me for standing 10 toes on what I believe in, bro. I don't have no reason to lie. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. You said you mad because you a hater. No, I ain't, hey, it is what it is, bro. I ain't nobody tripping out there. Hey, look, if, if they want to be upset with me, hey, man, that's their problem, bro. If they want to, like, hurt themselves like that, they continuously come and listen to me, man, that's on them, bro. They got to deal with that, brother. I can't do that. They got to deal with that. Like, you know what I'm saying, bro? They have to deal with the repercussions of that, man. That you dislike me so much that it just bothers you every day. Like, that's your that's your problem, bro. I'm going to say what I feel. And ain't nobody going to change me for saying what I feel. You know what I mean? That's why I told y'all. And, and if you got and if you two want to censor what we're saying on here, I respect it. That's their platform. So now I go to my platform, which is the podcast show right there. Click the link. It's pinned in the chat. 
right at the top of the comment section. Go subscribe to the podcast. Podcast show, I say what I want, when I want. And that's why everybody like it. Yeah, you got to be doing something right. Bro, listen, let me tell y'all something. I'm show y'all how much people like show love and support, right? And then on the podcast, you get all the notifications. Like on YouTube, they only like send out some notifications. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they do like algorithm and stuff like that. Like who likes your video, this, that, and the third. Who like watches your video. Like on the other, like on the podcast, if I drop an episode, it goes to everybody. Like you'll all get a notification. You know what I mean? It used to be like that on YouTube a long time ago. They changed the algorithm. They changed it to use the algorithm now. So, you know. So, that I mean, like I said, you just got to play by the rules that they have. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind that because I believe in that too. Like, if you come in my house, bro, you got to live by my rules. You don't like my rules, you got to leave. Straight up. You know how many, you know, you know how many chicks I don't told that to in the past? Like, yo, listen, let me tell you something, man. If you ain't willing to do it like this, but you, you want to be with me, man, I can't roll. I can't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just going to tell you the honest to God truth. Shout out to my boy Too Raw. He said something wrong with these dudes today. They want to control us like they own us, but they don't want to do that to Skip. And oh, they're not going to mess with Skip, bro. Nah, they ain't going to mess with any of that. Too Raw, they ain't bringing none of that heat to Skip. No. None of it, bro. They get mad at us, right? Straight up. We all here giving real life. Million people on, on channels hating on me talking about some yo man ticket he only talks about narratives he didn't talk basketball why you keep watching my videos if i only talk about narratives he doesn't know anything about basketball nigga i'm the only one out of all you clowns that play basketball what are you talking about all them dudes that's talking about oh man yeah ticket ain't talk basketball man he don't know nothing about basketball fool i played pro basketball 16 years you ain't do nothing you sit in your house <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? <laughs> the difference is I was actually out there. You skipped Bayless. <laughs> you want to talk about me skip Bayless? No, you're skip Bayless. I was in the field for real. You understand what I'm saying? Whether I played in the NBA or not, guess what? I got a check. You understand what I'm saying? They had a lot of O's on the end of that thing. Period. I got the scars to prove it. You understand what I'm saying? You a geek that just want to talk basketball. Cool. But you don't even know what you're talking about because you ain't been out there in the field. That's like you going out here and telling a god daggone plumber how to plumb a toilet. How are you going to tell him better than what he know? Yeah, because see, man, you got to take the the, uh, the, uh, the the thing right here, man, the plunger, and you got to, uh, you, know, uh, you know, put it hard right there, right there, right there. Put, put the plunger hard down. Do it like five times. And everything's gonna go down. Nah, man. You telling a you telling a plumber what to do. A plumber telling you, nah, we're gonna do it like this. You telling him, nah, we're gonna do it like this. The hell out of here, man. Like I said before, bro. I stand on people's shoulders out here, baby. That's what happens when you the boss. You understand? You feel me? It is what it is. The only thing I'm in intim- only thing I'm intimidated by is God. That's it. And that's just a fact, homie. So, again, just be happy that when I did this upload and this video drop, I wasn't talking about your king. I wasn't talking about your king. Talk about something else. Right? Because it is more things in life. I'm talking about something else. And when I go on the podcast show tonight, I'm going to be talking about something else. I did a video on the Jonathan Majors thing on the podcast show today. On a woman suing Jonathan Majors. You know you know what? You're never going to talk about that. You know why? Because you don't look for that. You guys only come and look for certain content. I noticed that. Don't y'all notice that, y'all? These dudes go from channel to channel to see who's talking about their king. This is what they do. They go to Google every day on YouTube. They, they look in YouTube search engine for what LeBron James videos have been dropped today. And they go to all those channels and troll all those people. Notice this now. You know how I know? Because I looked. I looked at other people's channels to see who was talking about their king. You know what they do? They go from channel to channel talking about their king, right? But but square up and down. Oh, all y'all do is talk about our king every day. We do all these other videos. Shout out to my brother, Seven Sports TV in the building. Y'all go subscribe to his channel and support his Patreon too. Dot com backslash Seventy Eight Sports TV. Y'all know what's up. And my boy Too Rough. This is what we doing, right? This is what they do, right? I'm just telling y'all the honest to God truth. They fall into my trap. They fall into my trap. 
But again, we, we we every other video we talking about something else, they ain't nowhere to be found. But they'll, then they'll come back and say, all you do is talk about LeBron. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm talking about something else right now. But you ain't nowhere to be found. But then you'll come in here trolling in this video because I'm not talking about your king. But if we was in here, I guarantee y'all one thing, right? If we was talking good about him every day, they wouldn't say nothing. They don't say nothing to ESPN. ESPN talk about him every day, all day. Did y'all hear what Keyshawn Johnson told uh, Herm? Salute to you, brother. Did y'all hear what Keyshawn Johnson told uh, told Paul Pierce the other day? Keyshawn Johnson told Paul Pierce was like, Paul Pierce was like, man, why we got to keep talking about this dude, man? He 10th place team, man. He said, man, they ain't even going to be here in the playoffs. Then what? And Keyshawn was like, well, we still going to talk about him. I mean, it's LeBron. He said, man, what the hell? He looked, Paul Pierce looked at Keyshawn Johnson like he lost his mind. Shout out to Doug Sullivan for subscribing to the podcast show just right now. Salute to you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Doug Sullivan. Doug Sullivan. They're going to hate me, bro. Because I'm going to have, I'm going to get like, see, when I set goals, I reach my goals. I'm going to get 10,000 subscribers on my podcast show before the end of this year. And then eventually it's going to be 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm willing to put the work in. You understand what I'm saying? I'm willing to put the work in. So, again, this type of stuff they got going on, y'all. They want you to get down or lay down. And then what they'll do is is that they'll play the card with you. They'll say, oh, man, because see, look at you, man. You in here tearing down a brother, man. Tearing down a brother. Meanwhile, their brother wouldn't start his podcast with another brother. And he got the other brother that's calling him out for not starting his podcast with his brother. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You do an interview on your on your show. They all they talking about is narrative. Oh, oh, well, he he wants to do a show where he he's talking pure basketball, the pure game, no narratives. So what is the shop? <laughs> the shop ain't nothing but a bunch of gossip and all narratives. You got you 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 got a boy. You got your brother that went to your that went to your 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 parade was showing up at your games with the Cavs. All this stuff. Shannon shot that's your boy. You let another dude come on your show. You let another dude come on your show and disrespect your boy, call him out of his name, and you ain't even X that out the show. That was pre-recorded. Meanwhile, you scrapped the whole Kanye West show because you didn't agree with Kanye West said. But 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 at the same time, you let somebody disrespect your mans and you wouldn't even erase that part out. You wouldn't censor that part out. Then on top of that, you gossiping the whole time on that show. That show ain't nothing but gossip. But don't nobody say nothing about that. That's why I told y'all, man, I don't respect cats like D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley running around here talking about something. Oh, yeah, you know, Shannon Sharp, the new Wendy Williams. Who is you? Every time I turn around, you on somebody's channel talking about somebody else. That's gossip, sir. All of this stuff that we do, everybody does, is gossip. This is what we do. Accept it. When, when we talk about somebody else, it's gossip, period, bro. That's, that, that's the name of the game. That's what we doing. We all gossiping. So what? Keep keep it a hundo. We all gossiping now. What? And, and guess what? All y'all that's right here listening, you a part of the gossip. You listening? So enjoy the content. And are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? So I'm just saying, bro. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, right? You got dudes that can't even play basketball that run around here and call Kwame Brown a bum right now every single day. Every day they'll t call Kwame Brown a bum every day. They can't even play ball. They can't even play ball. I'm like, bro, you can't even, bro, you ain't even, bro, like, y'all going to start showing some credentials, some pictures or something, bro. Y'all going to start showing some videos, some pictures or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you see some of these dudes, bro, I'm like, man, this is crazy. Yeah, man, you know, ticket, see, you cool with Kwame Brown, man. See, he he is a bum. I said, well, who are you? Who would you do? What did you do? Like, where you play at? What you do? No, because see, that ain't what I do. So why you talking about then? How you talking about somebody that was a professional in their field and you didn't even, you couldn't even play in that field? Like, make it make sense. Like, just let's just make logical sense of this stuff. This is the type of cap these guys pushing around here, right? I'm just telling y'all what the real is. Telling y'all what the real is.
Don't y'all say y'all want to see brothers united, right? But all y'all do is try to push Kwame Brown and Gilbert Arenas to tear each other's head off. Pause. But y'all want to see brothers united. Anytime somebody talk about LeBron, it's this we shall overcome movement. Come on, man. Why are we talking about brothers, man? Why are we talking about brothers, man? Then when it comes to Kwame Brown and Gilbert Arenas, y'all trying to get them two dudes to, to crash out on each other. That's the type of foolishness we got going on online. I'm just telling the truth. Telling the truth. Right? One side or the other side. Everybody trying to pick a side. Nah, man. And then when, when one of them dudes crash out and they get real, everybody going to fall back and act like they ain't had nothing to do with it. Man, come on, man. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing, man. Like I said in my other video, at least Gilbert Arenas is putting dudes on. He putting, he putting other brothers and sisters on. I respect that. He got a show. He putting other brothers and sisters on. I respect that. But, you know, people that don't agree with what he say, they'll just talk all kind of trash about him. And forgetting that the man did play at a high level. He did. He was. You had to have some type of sense to play at that level. But totally disrespect the man. When he is out here employing other people, he's showing other people love, putting other people on. That look like him. These are facts. Y'all ain't, I ain't seen Cheryl Swoops in a minute. She on the show. The other girl, Lexi, she on the show. Kmart, he on the show. Uh, uh, Rashad McCass, he on the show. Brandon Jennings be on the show. Keep it 100, bro. But see, y'all don't want to look at this stuff like that. Y'all just want to, oh, man. Uh, yeah, man. See, and then run back like little chumps. Yeah, Kwame, you know, Gil, he said this about you. Hey, Gil, see, Kwame was saying this, man. See, you know what I'm saying, man? For the hell with him, man. Come on, man. You want to see two dudes crash out for y'all put personal entertainment on some Tupac and Biggie shit again. That's all they want. Then when two when he, when if two if two dudes get together and they go wrong and go left and one one of them ain't here and the other one spend the rest of their life in prison then y'all sit back acting like y'all ain't had nothing to do with the foolishness man cut it out bro play them I don't play them type of games them what you call weak punk beta male games and I don't play those games it's a space for everybody to be successful even if you disagree with them I don't agree with none of that stuff Gilbert Arenas be saying about LeBron James. I don't have no reason to disrespect him, man. Straight up. He's already told you his name is No Chill Gill. Kwame Brown have told you already. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's mama's cooking. I wasn't bothering nobody. I was on my tractor. People started bothering me. I had to defend myself. Period. You can't respect that. I'm just saying. People making up beefs with a man. I ain't got no beef with a man making up beefs with him. Pure jealousy. Pure jealousy. Just because he came online and caught fire like Jordan. Y'all said the man was this, the man was that. The man came online and caught fire online. You understand? I'm talking about he caught all time, got daggone everlasting fire. He had the whole web shut down on lock. How many times y'all seen people do that? He doing what Shannon Sharp was doing. Straight up. And as soon as he, as soon as he was coming towards the, I'm talking about peak, peak, peak. What they do? Try to tear him down. Same people that tried to help build him up. It was right there trying to get features and stuff. He shouted down. This type of fools is I try to tell y'all, man. You know what I mean? As soon as you say some people don't agree with you on, now they try and demonize you, tear you down, all this other stuff, man. It's 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 foolishness, bro. People used to do that jump in the boxing community with Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather used to do some of the biggest shucking and jiving you ever seen. But as soon as somebody did something to Floyd and you said something, you called out Floyd, as soon as Floyd did something crazy and you called him out on it, oh, man, why you going in on Floyd, man? Y'all hate, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know how many times I've seen that? Like my boy 7 to do a video, like trying to like trying to like kick game to the brothers, like, like Adrian Brown and these brothers, telling y'all, like, yo, bro, look, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, tighten up, dog. Like, oh no, nah, man, cause see, man, you hate, man. Let the let, let the let the little nigga shine, man. Let him shine, man. This, this is the type of stuff they'll come. Oh, you hate, man. You hating on the brother, man. Come on, man. 
for keeping it real. It's just that simple. People don't even have a respect enough to where if we disagree on something, we can still be cool. All right, man, we disagree. I don't got no, ain't no beef like that. We disagree. I'm just saying, dog. It's whack, man. It really is, bro. Some point in time, people got to start showing maturity, man. And I mean that, bro. They got to start showing maturity, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's all there is to it. Shout out to uh, somebody else just sent me, right? Who is this? I got a few messages messing with y'all. Hold on, who is this? Hold on, y'all. Okay, I already seen that. I already seen that donation. It just came through. Yeah, salute to y'all, man. But y'all make sure y'all go to the podcast show, man. Much love to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all, bro. And the link is pinned at the top of the comment section, man. I wouldn't even stay this long in this video, man. But I'll be on the podcast show tonight. So make sure y'all click the link pinned at the top. Subscribe to the show. And let's get to 3,000 subscribers, man. And I'm going to holler at y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this Larsa Pippa stuff in the comment section. I'm gone, man.